Hi there and welcome to another Parker Adams Boat Sales Boat Walkthrough Tour. My name is Andrew Adams and we're here at Hamble Point and today we're going to show you a Brig Eagle 6.7. Before I do, I'd just like to thank everyone for subscribing to our channel. If you haven't done yet, please do hit the like and subscribe to our channel down below. It's great to see the numbers going up um, and we keep bringing you more and more of these walkthrough tours. So this particular boat is a 2020 Brig Eagle 6.7 that's powered with a Suzuki 175. Uh, the engine itself is done just under 400 hours, um, fully serviced, well maintained. And this particular boat, I'll say, is packed full of lots and lots of storage features. Um, it's got chart plotter, it's got um, interfaced chart plotter with the engine, loads of storage under the back seat, under the console seat here. And it's a really, really good boat, very, very complete. And I'm looking forward to showing you through the boat. So if we walk down the back, let's start off on the back of the boat. So as I mentioned, it's powered by Suzuki 175. Um, this will push the boat to around about 40 knots. What I like about the Briggs um, design is that you've got these nice um, synth well, synthetic teak. It's not synthetic teak. It's a closed cell PVA, I think it's PVA, um, non-slip deck. What's nice about it, I've just recorded another video because we've got a Grand G650 on at the moment and it's quite nice to compare the two boats. But the good thing about this is if you are to damage one of these pads, then you can simply replace that pad. You don't need to replace the whole deck. But the non-slip is on four places on the stern. You've got a stainless steel bathing ladder that's a three-step ladder so you can pull the ladder down and get in and out when you're swimming but there's quite lots of good handholds here so if you are coming out of the water you can hold on to that place there you can hold on to this cleat as you come up and then once again onto the top of this radar arch so what makes the brig quite distinctive is this radar arch it's a nice design you don't have a big hoop which is sometimes quite difficult to get around when you're coming in and out of the water particularly on boats that have the full width hoop. So it's a small arch here, and you've got at the top an LED all round navigation light, and then you've got a towing point um, at the top, and you've also got tow points at the back. So if you are pulling any water skiers, um, Ringos, anything like that, then the boat is equipped for it. It's nice to see good stainless, good solid stainless steel uh, cleats on these and then grab handles all the way around. So if you're bringing the boat into the mooring, it's easy just to grab hold of the, the boat when it's coming in, but also that doubles up when you're sat here on the rear seat, you've got yourself a nice easy holding point there as well. Cup holder, nice and easy to hand and then more handholds here. So on the back of the, the seating console, you can really hold in and brace yourself in. So if you're in any rougher weather, it's a really, really nice design that, that everything is, is easy to hand. You've also got a table. This table just lifts up and then there's a stand under there. Just pop that into place. And that's now there. So you could fit certainly three people along here if you want to have a bit of lunch in a bay cup holders molded into it but what's quite nice is just it's how simple it is it's a very very simple design lift it up pop the hatch down and clip it back into position so that's really nice in terms of storage let's start at the back underneath this seat a bit about the um, the seating it's all um, covered in silver text so it's a black silver text upholstery which goes really nicely with the gray molded hull now inside here is a really really big locker so this life raft will actually be removed prior to sail, but it's, you can see how big it is that there's a six man life raft in there. So this locker goes right the way to the back. There's a life boy here, and you can see it's all presented in really nice, clean condition. Um, you've got this set up with a single battery on this. So it's a single, leisure, single house battery and engine battery, and the isolator for it is just easily accessible here. These gas struts are really nice, simple, lifted up, it stays up. You don't need to do anything. Um, and then to pull it down again, just simply push on the pressure and it's back down again. This boat really is for me a very very simplistic simple way of going boating um, with a really good quality brand. Um, Brig have really grown in the last couple of years as being a very very desirable brand. If we now move forward the helm position is actually slightly offset so what this does instead of having um, quite a narrow walkway on each side what they've decided to do is move the helm console slightly off to the right hand side and then your steering position is still central in the middle but you've now got not too bad a walk through so if we look here at the space as you walk through on that side there's no walk around but on this side you've got a good way of walking around and good stainless steel grab holes all the way around 
just mention, as I said, I should have mentioned this earlier, the tubes are a fabric impression tube. Now what this means is it's actually got a sort of, a, it's more like a material finish on it. And then you've got these little wear patches which are in a carbon effect. So it's a fabric impression tube, which is an upgrade from you as well. So let's have a look at the helm position. The helm position, you can lift these seats up into a bolster position, which I think is really good to give you extra space. So from a passenger point of view, we'll start off over here. You've got a foot rest, so you can lock yourself into this really, really nicely. So I feel very nice and secure now. And a grab handle here from a passenger perspective. You've got a Garmin VHF, which is a DSC VHF. You've got a Fusion RA70 radio. Um, now that's the RA70N, the N stands for network. We don't think it is connected at the moment, but you could just connect the Garmin and then you could control the sound system from the Garmin plotter as well. And then you've got the Suzuki digital dash as well. Um, engine hours on this are currently registering as 390 hours. You've got Fusion speakers. The speakers are two at the front. I believe there's another two at the, at the front of the boat. I'll double check that. There's certainly two in the console. We'll see that as we walk around. But there's two speakers facing towards um, the, the co-pilot and the driver. And then if we move across into the, the driver position, your controls are really nice and ha handy. Kill cord here, which can go straight onto the leg there. And you've got good, easy throttle controls and it's the fly-by-wire Suzuki system. And then on here, this dash panel, it's all CNC, um, cut-ins with the horn, running lights, anchor light, um, manual bilge pump override and also a shower pump on there. Everything very very functional but everything that you need is here and a really nice steering wheel. It's one of the Gussie Italia steering wheels on there which I think are a standard fit on the brig ribs. You can see the the Garmin plotter there is in a 3D view so I've got a, a nice 3D view there at Hamble Point Marina and it's a what it's well it's, they say it's a keyless start but you still do need a key but you've then got the option of pressing start stop um, that's a feature that's included on uh, many of the suzuki outboards for about the last five years or so so start stop and then the option to have throttle only if you just need to rev the engine um, up and then your trim is located just on the edge of the throttle there so let's keep moving forward So the so-called suicide seat that's here, um, that's suitable there, I would say. Definitely two children could sit on there, um, certainly one adult, possibly two if they're fairly friendly. Um, the nice thing about this locker is this locker is actually insulated. So if you are going out for the day and you have something that you've got perishable food items, then you can lift that up, pop the food in there, perhaps with a couple of ice box, ice bags, a couple of bags of ice, and actually that would keep that really, really secure and, and cool in there. That certainly will help the, the cooling process. Drop that down. And then these are on these just rubber stainless steel clips. Just clip that down. Underneath here, you've got access to all the instrumentation. Just open that up. And this just drops down. And in here, you have a bow cushion. So this bow cushion, I'll just bring it out of here. Pop it into location. Into there as well. And you can see, in terms of storage, again, there's loads and loads of storage in here. So when I first looked into this boat, I expected to see back of the console and not a lot of space. But in fact, what we've got in here, you've got a flare pack, um, you've got a first aid kit, you've got five or six life jackets in there. So there really is a huge amount of storage. And it's quite neat to see as well, there's a double USB um, plug socket at the back there. So if you wanted to put your phone on charge inside a locker, then that's available inside there as well. That's a good amount of space in there. So we'll just close that back up. Lift the cushion up and pop that down again. And that's now secure. So these are where those um, cushions go on the front. So the idea here, if you are out in a bay or somewhere, then you've got a couple of friends sat alongside here, a couple of friends here. So it's really versatile seating for a 6.7 metre rib. So those just clip onto position. Obviously, I just laid them in there now, um, but they clip into position there. So you could keep them on when you're going along quite a nice secure fastening there to make sure they don't blow off. But if we pop them off for now, I'll show you what's underneath. So on this boat, you've got two lockers here. They are separated. In this locker, in this one, we've got a small boat hook. There's some additional lines in there. There's a hose for washing down and it's pretty deep. It goes right the way back to here. So again, lots and lots of space for a 6.7 meter rib. And then in the front, actually I should have said, there's a key safe on there, which is quite handy. Um, and on the front, 
you've obviously got the anchor. Probably guessed that was coming. So in the front there, you've got a good size anchor, um, anchor and a rope. And that rope then, if you throw the anchor over the side, you've got this nice molded piece um, of GRP on the top and then stainless steel uh, cleats here and stainless steel anchor lights. So the anchor will obviously just attach onto there to keep you nice and secure. All the way along the brig uh, tubes, you've got grab handles, which are very nice. So if you are going along and you're up the front, then you can hold on. Lots and lots of nice safe features on there. In terms of the tubes, they hold air really, really nicely. And overall, I think this is a really good boat. So that comes to the end of our quick walk around tour on this Brig Eagle 6.7. Um, it's a really, really nice boat. It's available right now from Parker Adams um, Boat Sales. And if anyone wants to come down and view it, the boat's here at Hamble Point Marina and we look forward to showing you her. Thanks as always for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe to the channel and we look forward to seeing you on the next video. Thanks so much.